when it comes to uh, the unconditional love of God, everything that God does is motivated by who he is. And therefore, unconditional love outworks in various different ways. Now, I think your question in regards to someone's spirit not being present in the consuming fire of God's love is a good one, because in reality, their spirit came from God and has gone back to God, waiting for the refining and purification of the soul so they can come back in oneness. Uh, God, just some, anyone's spirit has never done anything wrong. Uh, so there's never the need for the spirit to be uh, restored or or reconciled in that way. Um, so the spirit goes to God. That is why in the fire of God's love, a person's soul feels like it's being tortured, but it's self-torture. It is essentially anguish of soul, realizing that their choices have brought them into this place. And of course, for some, their memory or knowledge of where they think they are, quote, hell, would mean that they feel they're never going to get out there. Then they start self-recrimination and regret and ang anxiety and anxiousness and anguish. And that's how I describe it. Anguish of soul. Not because God is causing them to be anguished or causing them to feel that way, because the love of God is wanting to consume all that guilt, shame and condemnation that they're feeling. Um, so that they can receive that love and then their spirit and soul can be restored and come back into their relationship with God as intended. But the, the soul does go through torment and people realize what they've done to others, what they've done to themselves, what their decisions and choices in life has had. And there are consequences for what they feel about that. But all of that is so that God can bring his forgiveness to them and they can realize that all that's going to be washed away. God loves them. And no matter what they've done, they Jesus has already dealt with that on the cross. So when the realization comes, it's amazing to see those in the fire of God's love having that revelation that they are loved and they don't have to stay there and they can receive that forgiveness that is theirs and have that relationship restored to them. So that's an amazing thing to see. And then when Jesus leads them out or when you lead them out of the fiery place and they come into Zion, the father's there welcoming them, giving them a, a ring of sonship, a new robes of righteousness, and then wiping away all tears, all regret, restoring and making them whole. Then they go into their learning uh, more of the love of God and relating to him as part of the cloud of witnesses and finding their heavenly destiny is still there for them to be fulfilled. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.